R6 Genie, let's go! I'm about to lose some runs just for you guys. So today's video, we're going to take a look at Genie and why I keep saying that R6 Genie is probably where it's at and not so much about R2 Genie. There's a very big difference between what she can do at R6 and what she can do at R2. Now the thing about her R2 is that she instantly gains a turn after using her second skill, which is great, which is great. It allows her to deal more DPS instantly. But does that really change a lot for her kit? I don't really think so. I think where it's at is when she's at R6 and she's instantly going to gain a turn because of her R2 regardless, go straight into her third skill and gain her final stack of intense heat, which completely maximizes her damage at the start in one single turn. So as long as she takes one turn, that's it, done. So huge shout out to Zenken2 for <laughs> allowing us to test out your Genie R6. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Now I'm just going to use my typical tanky comp first. Okay, first, just to test the waters a little bit, just to figure out like how strong uh, she is. So we're actually just going to battle this and I think we're just going to let it run automatically. We're not going to do anything for the time being. So Genie, let's take a look at a couple of things, right? So number one, how much damage will her true damage be? Uh, when she has uh, uh, three stacks instantly, right? I mean, it's very difficult for you to uh, to get three intense hit stacks uh, if you're not at R6, because most of the time you're probably not gonna be able to survive that long. So my genie is at R0 and I have a really terrible time trying to make her work. It's very, very difficult. Like right now, I feel like if your genie is not, is not at R6, it's probably gonna be very difficult at point war 17 and 18 because Enemies are just super tanky, they're not going to take a lot of damage from like your genie's true damage, it's not going to matter all that much. Okay, so the genie just attacked me, I, did, I didn't really realize it, my Ahmed lost 50% HP. But the thing is, if you're able to get her to 3 intense heat stacks, then yes, her damage output is going to go up by a lot. Uh, it's going to increase her attack power by I think like 30%, it's going to, I mean of course on top of that, we have all the amplification and a lot of good stuff. So yeah, true damage also goes up to 120%, very nice. 21k on a counter attack insane okay that's it my sienna is dead <laughs> my sienna is already dead that is actually crazy you know what we are gonna lose this anyway so let's just try to target her on purpose right so we got 10,000 damage true damage 10,000 true damage what the heck and all she needed to do is just take like just move once she just needed to go from her second skill into her third skill in one single turn boom she has fully uh, capitalized her, her DPS output. She has fully realized her, her maximum potential instantly. And now the thing is, whenever she goes into her second skill, into her third skill, that will actually give her a couple of things. So number one, she's going to get her Chef's Zest, which doesn't really do all that much, but because she gains Chef's Zest, then she goes straight into her third skill. That's going to give her an instant attack up buff because she already has Chef's Zest. So that's how the synergy works for her R6. See that? Boom. I have no idea how much damage that was. I think it was probably... I think it could have gone up to 100,000. I actually need to take a look at the numbers again, but... Um, nice, we actually managed to get her out of the way by selecting her. But uh, we are still gonna get clapped. <laughs> Forgot about the Abigail over there. Well, this is indeed a nightmare. A, a huge nightmare. And I mean, of course, man, the Arctic Sally... Okay, so 14,000 times 5. Assuming that my Tricky was even alive, right? 14,000 times 5, that would be... Uh, 75k. 75k in one single third skill. Amazing. Amazing. She don't even need to crit, right? So she can hit anything, she can miss, and it's still gonna do 75k. It's it's like insane. Now let me try out my nuking comp. I am not gonna bring in Nusi here uh, just because there is a Sally as an Ahmed. It doesn't really make it doesn't really matter all that much if we reset them at the uh, at the start. Okay, so we push out AP. Uh, I'm going to buff myself with the heavy cannonade. We only got one defense break. What the heck? But at least we get a new turn, right? So that's all that matters. So what I want to show you guys is that she's also an insane counter against uh, Brewster. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Shit. Not enough AP pushing, I think. She's an insane counter against Brewster. And the reason is because whenever Brewster attacks her, she's just gonna heal. She's just gonna heal up her HP. So yeah, very, very crazy stuff. But as you can see, with the heal block, that is actually how we can uh, somehow counter her. So I think we can actually do this again by using Yuhime. I think Yuhime is probably going to be one of the best counters against her because Yuhime has the Q block. I mean, of course, you can use Javid as well. All right, so let's try this out. I think in terms of the speed tuning, okay, there is definitely some issue over here. All right, so I went ahead to increase Yuhime's speed so that she's going to take the first turn before Camille. Uh, that's very important because we want to make sure that we make the most use out of her HP cap reduction. 
So I think right now we should be fine. I mean, of course, on top of that, we need to land the disease uh, before the rest of our experts attack this 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 uh, genie, right? We got the disease. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> Are we screwed? Because now we no longer have the disease, right? Okay, so this team obviously very strong. Very, very, very strong. Very good synergy, and I'm not super sure how we can actually counter this right now. Okay, I watched the replay. I think we can do this again. I think we just failed to AP reduce the Jin Yu Yao, and I think that's probably the reason why. Maybe now we can AP reduce, and if we do, we might stand a chance because right now uh, Jin Yu Yao is actually at 73%. So if we AP reduce, Jin Yu Yao, she will actually just go up to 90, uh, no, 83% I think because she gains 30% AP over here but Ashley's Rainbow Bridge actually reduces how much? 10% right? 10% AP okay so she's actually going to go up to 93% uh, which would work if we AP reduce her right now we didn't get the AP reduction okay last try last try before I have to revamp this whole setup again uh, push our AP and now hopefully can we reduce her AP? we did we? Did we? Wait, what? Post edit daddy free to play, this is actually new to me. As you can see on the screen here, Jin Yu Yao did receive a debuff. The rest of our allies got resisted, but what you notice is that Jin Yu Yao didn't get her AP pushed. So as you can see on her passive Mount Kunun's Blessing, when an ally is inflicted with a debuff, Jin Yu Yao's AP plus 20%. So it's only when an ally is inflicted with a debuff, not herself. This is new to me. But now we didn't apply the, <laughs> the heal block. Are you serious? <laughs> what the heck? And now we get screwed because we, we are not able to take out, take out the genie like instantly, right? Okay, so this is definitely not a very viable strat because you're going to lose a few times because of RNG. Okay, maybe one other change that I could make is to make her the speed lead. Basically just have a little bit more speed and we might be able to ensure that we have a more consistent AP difference. So for example, right now genie is at 67, no longer at 73. So even if we do not get the AP reduction on her, I think it should be fine. I think... We are just talking about consistency in beating a genie comp like that. But I think this genie comp is like really, really perfect right now. We did get the disease, very nice. And we stole the turn as well. Okay, fantastic. So we can do this. Boom, nice. Another crit. Boom, and we didn't do anything. <laughs> we didn't achieve anything at all. What the heck? We didn't even get... We didn't even have enough DPS to kill her. <laughs> or anything. Because of the Sally, right? Because of the Sally R6. Okay, so... His team is freaking insane, dude. Like, everything in this setup is very, very strong. Very, very well placed together. Like, the Ahmed is here to remove the heal block. The Abigail is probably here to revive something. I'm not super sure just yet. The Jin Yu is obviously here to remove all the heal blocks or anything that could debilitate the team, right? And then there's Sally, also. <laughs> Sally as well, man. Sally is insane. So, yeah, this team is completely perfect. Oh, yeah. Okay, the Abigail is here for the attack buff as well. So, a very, very dangerous team. I, I don't think I have anything at all that I can use to beat this team right now. I mean, there is technically one other way that I can approach this, which is to use a Zora, right? Because Zora has a defense break, and she also has disease, uh, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, on her first skill. Okay, so she has uh, defense down and disease. I think she might work. So I think I'm actually going to replace the equipment on my Yuhime and put it onto Zora. Okay, so exactly the same stats. I am hoping that this time around, things would turn out better for us, because I will be spending some Nexus Crystals just to make sure that uh, we at least try to get this win. So I'm looking at a defense break at the start, which means we need to AP push the we need to AP reduce the Jin Yu Yao so that she don't dispel anything, right? So hopefully we can get an AP push here. We did get an AP push. Fantastic. Okay, we actually might oh my god, no defense break. No defense break, GG. Okay, it just dawned upon me that I have 0% accuracy. I'm not sure how that happened. I, I, was, pr I was pretty sure that uh, Yu Hibe had some accuracy in her kit. I managed to bump Zora's accuracy up by 30%, so. <laughs> I hope. I, I mean, it's all about just consistency, right? So we might actually RNG luck out the, the defense break all the time anyway, but it's just more for consistency. That's all I care about. Okay, AP reduction on the Jin Yu Please, please, please. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. And we got defense break as well. Very good DPS. We just need to pray that we double crit. Nice, first crit. Oh, no. Okay, now. We, no, we, no, 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 oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you know what? I think my Ashley had like way too little speed, right? Yeah, I do believe that my Ashley needs about 6 speed. I think she needs a minimum of 180 in order to catch up to the Clara here. Okay, <laughs> hopefully this is it. So now she's a little bit faster, which means she should be able to steal the turn, I think. I think as long as you get our AP reductions and all that. And I, I mean, I, I did give Ashley a fair amount of accuracy as well. AP reduction. No AP reduction? Damn it. 
I'm just so I'm just so dead set on I'm trying to beat this team right now. Like seriously, don't try this at home. This is completely not worth your crystals, not worth your points at all. And right now there is even like an event where you are supposed to win. So don't lose. Don't do what I'm doing right here. Like like see that? No AP reductions, and that means we instantly lose. Come on, please, just AP reduce for once. Okay, okay, come on, please, 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 please. Nice AP reduction, fantastic. We got a heal block as well, no defense break. Okay, now we didn't manage to get a defense break, but I think we can actually kill everything else here. Possibly, possibly, it, it actually might happen. Okay, okay, no, no, okay, no, no, wait, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. The issue here is that Camille is probably not a really good DPS. I mean, obviously, there's so many Inferno types here. So I think we might need to replace her with something that makes more sense. We can use any Inferno or Flow type DPS. Maybe we can just use our guys, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why not? Let's just use our guys here. Okay, we push our AP again, as always. Attack buff. Very nice. Defense break AP down. No AP down. No AP down. By this point, I probably lost like, I don't know, 15 runs or something. Okay, we got the AP down. We got defense break everything. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Very nice, very nice. And we transform and we hopefully pop something off. I mean, we don't have a lot of defense breaks. And uh, oh, that's about it, isn't it? That's about it. Oh my goodness. This is a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, this is our last entry because this would have been uh, 16 losses. 16 losses in, uh, in total. But I'm not even upset because I'm actually just bewildered at how good and how complete his setup is. Is perfect so the thing is he has the resist lead on sally which is why it's so difficult for us to land some of our debuff so it's going to increase his resistances by another 40 percent which kind of mitigates a lot of my accuracy as well so yeah holy hell we went from i think like rank 260 down to 347 ah okay but anyway don't try this at home this is genie r6 insanely strong freaking freaking disgusting i mean i understand that for the later half of this video we didn't actually get to see a lot of genie action but that's because if we do not take her out we have no chance whatsoever in taking her out in the future as well so yeah there you go let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below how do you think i, I performed here i know i performed miserably I, I didn't even win a single run but let me know if you have any other approach to dealing with this comp and um, i'm gonna try it again in the future of course if i do find him once again <laughs> right now i'm just gonna refresh and not even try his defense for like hopefully the next two updates or something like that but anyway hope you guys enjoyed today's content if you did don't forget to thumbs up it really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content now with that said this has been dairy free to play and as always i will see you in the next video